October is perfect for our winning day. The crimsons and gold all in view. I'll put a promise, a ring on your hand, and you'll pin a rose to my suit. We'll dance to win under the lights will you be my partner every night I'll tell you I love you and you say I do and we'll start on our honeymoon Welcome back to BuzzMoncton.com. I'm Terry Parker, and with me today, New Brunswick Country Music Hall of Fame member and Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame member, originally from Rosaireville, which is just outside of Rogersville, in case you didn't know, is uh, Mr. Johnny Burke. Johnny, welcome to BuzzMoncton.com. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, for sure. Yeah, right on. It's a pleasure for, for us to have you, man. I tell you, it's not very often we get to talk to Hall of Fame members. You know? <laughs> it's it's kind of cool. Thank you. And, I just would like to, we want to talk about the new music and things you got going on, uh, but before that, I need to take you, take you back just uh, for a little while anyway, back to the beginning. It would have been in the 60s, I think, uh, that, well, that yeah. moment you decided to, to leave your home to yeah. head west. Well, heading west, there was not much to do around here to, uh, so like 118 pounds, I'm not made to be a lumberjack, um, so I did, that was not my thing. and. The farming was not my thing either, and you know, like, even though we lived on a little farm. Uh, so I wanted something different, so we headed west to Ontario, went to Toronto, and worked in factories and you name it, uh, till I got into the music business. That was in 1960. Wow, so what led to that, I wonder? You obviously must have always had a joy of making music? Or? I always, always did, yeah. I was, I was raised, you know, uh, with the dream of being on the stage, I kept watching some of the, uh, my, me and my sister used to listen to the WWV Jamboree out of Wheeling, West Virginia, on the radio, you know, just listening and picturing all this music. And uh, uh, I've been to some of the shows, like in Rogersville at the Legion Hall, different acts that came in, like Hank Snow and people like that. Oh my, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So when I got to Ontario, we got to, put a band together from Rogersville, uh, all musicians from the area, and we used to play at a French club in Toronto. And uh, one day I was in the middle of this French club and this group came to see me and said, we'd like you to join the band. I said, well, why? Because the band kept, you know, I was having fun with, with my group. So um, uh, they wanted me to play bass. I said, well, I've never played bass before. I'm even not a old one. He said, well, we'll teach you. So we had an audition at the Drake Hotel. And uh, before the owner came in, we just sat down and they said, well, this is A and that's B and G. And, oh, okay. And we got the job. Wow. We were there for two years. And in that span, we recorded our first ever album. I did my first ever recording session as far as a bass player. And again, if you look at the technology from then and today, it was in this guy's living room and there was a chandelier, and there was a table underneath, and we had three amplifiers shooting at that one microphone and the chandelier, and there's a mattress between the door of the kitchen and the living room to, to, to divide the sound, and that was the first ever recording. Wow. And on a quarter inch tape, yeah. and it went to one inch, or half inch, one inch, two inch. Now it's digital, and it's just like, I just recorded this song with, with Flo Durrell where she sent me a thing in Toronto on email and I did my vocal and I sent it back here. And yeah. So it's quite of amazing on the difference between then and now. Yeah, just a little bit, eh? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> uh, you mentioned your work with Flo Durrell. Uh, there's an event that's uh, happening soon as we speak, um, actually, and it's a, a CD launch, uh, kind of a, a co-CD launch. Yeah. Hers and yours. You have a new album. I've got a brand new CD that just yeah. came out in Ontario, and we're bringing that out on June the 12th with Flo, so I'm looking forward to that. It's a lot of fun. We've got a little band with us, and uh, one of the girls that actually did one of the songs with me, Lisa Logan, is on that. It's going to be on that show also. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. and. Uh, in fact, we even heard from Patsy Durrell, one of, uh, I guess, Flo's cousin, 
coming in from Maine somewhere to the show. Well, it's going to be it's going to be great. Yeah. Looking forward to it. You attract quite a crowd. Uh, right, well, yeah, you from know. a distance, yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, so, just bouncing around the timeline here, just a little bit. I want to take you back to you were uh, uh, had quite the honor of being the house band leader for one of the first real com comedy TV shows that was produced in Canada. That was, of course, a funny farm. I don't know that a lot of people know that, so that's why I'm kind of bringing it up. Yeah, well, we did, uh, we did. I think it was three or four years of the funny farm with Blake Emmons. And again, it was all uh, Grand Ole Opry stars on it, so we were the house man for it. So you would play back up to the, to the stars? Yeah, we played back up, and I, I did a song or two every show. Okay, yeah. And, uh, we, and I think before then we did what they call the Harry Hibbs show, which was the, right. I call it the Caribou. We did yeah. seven years of that. Oh. And I did five years with the Carl Smith show, which was another great, uh, great show across Canada on, on CTV. Hmm. Um, so I did a lot of television, and I enjoyed that. It was, it was a lot of hard work, but it, it was fun all at the same time. Yeah. So the pioneering spirit uh, in television and in uh, in music, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the original songs that you you come up with, um, how many would you say uh, you've recorded are original songs? Well, quite a few actually. Wild yeah. Honey was one of the first ones uh, I recorded back in in uh, in the early '60s. Uh, songs called uh, uh, Loving You Again was one, and I had one called Loving Day. And the different singles that I released back in, in, uh, in the years was rec with uh, Columbia Records. Right. And then after that, I, I recorded uh, Brother Wild Honey, I Love, Love Don't Grow on Trees, and then Judge My Soul, and uh, one called uh, Whiskey Dreams, another one. You must have had. You must have been tempted to go south. You know, Nashville must have been calling at some point. Uh, I had calls, and I, I'm, I'm, I might be old-fashioned, but I thought, you know, like, I wanted to. If I'm going to make something of myself, I, I like Canada. So why, why leave? Because I had a chance to do it. I was asked to do it, and I had my band was all in here. It's East Winds with me since 1968, and. Why would I leave the band? And the band didn't want to go anywhere. So, you know, why would they leave? And then we're, we're, we used to, we had our circuit that we did. We did the Newfoundland, the Maritimes, all across Ontario. We did part of the United States. So we, we're quite busy and content with, with what we had. So to me, that was fine over here. Yeah, well, good for you. So how many albums? Total. Well, I, I thought I had 14 or 15. Somebody said I, we counted 14. Okay. So Does that include the new ones? Uh, I don't think it includes the new okay. ones. I'm not sure. Because you, you released one just last year. Yeah. And now you're into just releasing it. Just what's, rec what's, tell us about the, the, the latest album, the one that's... Well, the latest out. album is actually, uh, I call it Johnny Burke and East Swing, because I recorded quite a few with East Wind, just Johnny Burke and East Wind. Mm. One was the Wild Honey album, which Johnny Burke and East Wind also. And we did I mean, three or four or five with Johnny Burke and East Wind. And after that, I did my own thing. And I thought, you know what? East Wind's still with me. Um, and they're just the greatest musicians. Um, so why not? So I don't do a whole, I did it uh, three different numbers. The rest is all mine. But it's called Johnny Burke and East Wind. And I've got two original songs on it. One is written by a guy from Guelph. Um, it's a song he wrote about his daughter, uh, his wedding. And I, he sent it to me on an email, and I thought, my God, that's a good song. So I, I just recorded that. And we're planning to release that as a single very shortly. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah the song that is accompanying this piece is called Honeymoon. Well, the, the honeymoon was a different CD. It was, right. the, was the one that was released last year, yeah. and I want to sing that song later on. It's it's a uh, actually that song was uh, written by a lady that was in Saskatoon the year was inducted in the Hall of Fame, and she liked my singing, and she came back to Toronto and recorded a song or wrote a song as a duet with me and mine. So, about two weeks after I came back from Saskatoon, I got a call from the producer and said, "Would you like to come down?" and to uh, share this song with her. So I did, I love this song. It's a great tune called Honeymoon. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I did it as a duet with her. Okay. And then last year I, cause you, you can do it straight or duet. So I did it myself. Okay. 
and it's the title of the, that CD. It's called Honeymoon. Yeah. And I, I love the song itself. Oh, well, there it is. So, Johnny, thank you very much uh, for the many years that you've provided so much joy to music fans uh, all over the place. And uh, it's a real pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure on my side. Johnny Burke on BuzzMoncton.com. Be sure to check out our Buzz listings. Uh, whenever Johnny's in town and around, you'll be able to find the listings there and uh, all that and more. All right. And so we'll see you later. Thanks a lot for chiming in. <laughs> Got work in the city. I couldn't turn down We set up house In a small flat downtown We painted the nursery The baby came soon And joined us on our honeymoon We danced to Anne Marie And turned down the light I'm still your partner every night. We've been together a lifetime or two, and we're still on our honeymoon. We've been together a lifetime or two, and we're still on our honeymoon.